does with us? Woohoo! And today we're going to be talking about our new topic for the month, and that is patience. <gasps> patience is waiting until later for what you want now. Oh my goodness. Do you think it's easy to have patience? Never. Never. No, because whenever we say something, we want it now, right? It's hard to have patience. Well, today we are going to learn about a guy named Simeon who actually had to have a lot of patience. And guess who's going to play Simeon today? Mr. Doug. <laughs> All right. So... Simeon lived in Jerusalem, and we know from the book of Luke that he was a good and godly man. That means he followed God's laws and lived the way God wanted him to live. Good job, Simeon. Awesome. <laughs> Simeon knew the scriptures really well because he knew about the promise that God had made to send a Savior. He was probably familiar with the words like these from Isaiah 9-2. The people who are living in darkness will see a great light. They are now living in a very dark land, but a light will shine on them. And that's from Isaiah 9-2. Simeon was waiting patiently for God's promise to come true. He believed that the great light coming was the Savior, the one who would rescue God's people forever. In fact, the Holy Spirit told Simeon that he would not die before he seen the promised Savior. We don't know how long Simeon waited, but it could have been years. <sighs> years and years and years. <laughs> A really, really long time. One day, the spirit led Simeon to the camp temple courtyard. Just then, a young couple entered carrying their baby boy. Can you guess who they were? According to the laws God had given his people, Mary and Joseph brought Jesus to the temple in Jerusalem. They had come to present him to God and to offer a sacrifice. Simeon probably knew they were there because maybe the Holy Spirit told him. Maybe there was a leap of joy in his heart. We're not exactly sure, but somehow Simeon recognized Jesus as the Savior who he and all of God's people had been waiting for. He was so excited that he took baby Jesus in his arms and praised God. Simeon said this. Lord, you are king over all. Now let me, your servant, go in peace. That is what you promised. My eyes have seen your salvation. You have prepared it in the sight of all nations. It is a light to be given to the Gentiles. It will be the glory of your people Israel. And that was from Luke 2, 29, 32. God had kept his word that Simeon would see this savior before he died. After what was probably a long time of waiting, Simeon was overjoyed to see God's promise come true. Before he left, Simeon made sure to bless both Mary and Joseph. Simeon knew that Mary and Joseph would experience great joy as the parents of the Son of God, but that they would also face some big challenges too. So let's give a big round of applause to Mr. Doug. Thank you, Mr. Doug. Simeon must have trusted God a lot because he had to wait a long time to see God's promise come true. And sure enough, God came through in the end. It goes to show that God always keeps his promises. 
No matter what you have to wait for, God is always with you. You can trust him while you're waiting just like Simeon did. In fact, you can trust God no matter what. You can trust God when you have to wait for something little, like maybe you have to wait to eat your dessert, or you can trust God with something big. Maybe you're gonna have, your parents are gonna have another baby and you have to wait to meet your new brother or sister. But the thing to remember is that God is always with you when you're waiting. And that leads us to the bottom line for this week. And that is, when you have to wait, remember God is with you. So remember guys, when it's hard to wait, think about Simeon and think about how long Simeon had to wait. Look at his eyebrows. Long time. <laughs> All right, so I know that probably a lot of you have had to have patience this last year, right? Patience to see your friends again, patience to maybe go do things, patience during this long winter when it feels like we've been stuck in the house forever. But you know what? Always remember that God is with you. And whenever you're having a hard time, just say a prayer to him and ask him to give you some patience. All right, so Mr. Doug and I, this is our last KidWise that we're going to be doing with you guys. But hey, we might, you know, in the future, volunteer and do KidWise every once in a while. But anyhow, it has been so much fun seeing you guys and watching you grow in your faith. And we are so excited about what's going to come next. So, but we will definitely see you around, right, Mr. Doug? Yep, absolutely. Yes, we'll and be at Thank you for watching. Yes, you guys take care. Bye. Bye. Ellie says bye too. Look at her. Ruff, ruff, ruff. She's so sad. <laughs>